Hi guys, this is Lucy from Varantium.com and I am going to show today how to create these earrings. I pick up mine from the local store, but you can find them online. They have a different size, different color. My color called rose gold and it's perfect match with a copper wire. So that's why I'm going to use this 14 gauge round wire as a base and I'm going to create the shape out of it. Just make sure your wire stay inside of the earrings and has a little gap between them. I finish my first earring and start work with the second one. Finish the end of the wire. You can hammer or you can file. I just file mine and I use my round pliers to shape the wire. I try to make it as close as possible to my first piece so my earrings would be the same. It takes time and patience. Some people ask me what kind of tools I use. This is a Xeron pliers at the American company. Most of my pliers from this company, I really like them. Not all of them working well, but the one uh, from the expensive uh, range, they worth their price. After I'm done to shape my piece, I like to hammer it. Hammering uh, changes the shape of your wire, so that's why I try to hold the both uh, ends to minimize this effect. Right after that, I like to sand my piece. I use just nail polishing stick. I like to use it um, for the fast uh, sanding because it has four grades and uh, it's soft and it uh, smooths the edge of the wire. Just make sure you sand it and you're working with the both sides. This is the end result after polishing. 20 gauge wire is a second wire. Mark a 2 inch point and use this mark to start coil around base wire. I like to use um, beads in my work. Uh, here I'm using beads and cream because cream has a big hole and it fits perfectly with my 20 gauge wire. So I'm using two creams and uh, two millimeter beads. And I decided to use another cream for next wave. For the second piece, you have to repeat all the steps. Just make sure when you coil your 20 gauge wire around 14 gauge, you create a mirror copy of your first piece. Constantly check if my second piece is identical with my first one.
After wire part is done, time to connect them to the hook. Use this left tail of 20 gauge wire to coil around both hook and base wire together a couple of times. And again, when working on second earring, make sure it's mirrored copy. And now time to play with your bit. This is my favorite time. I decided to use my citrine bead and my small peridot one. I just lie them down and uh, visually see how I want to connect them. I use 20 gauge wire to connect them uh, with my 20 gauge one. So I just coil on my 20 gauge wire a couple of coils to secure the 20 gauge wire and then uh, connect all my beads in the position I want them. It's up to you what design you want. I decided to use three beads at the beginning. I make uh, several coils between my beads so it gives them some space. So all my coils only on a 20 gauge wire. This is basically all. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please leave your comment below what do you want to see in my next video. I appreciate your support and it really motivates me to create new video for you. Thank you all and see you next time. Bye!